Today I'm going to be doing a video walkthrough of our DPC-18 display. It has a USB charger port at the bottom of the display which charges at half an amp. It's not enough for light but good for small electronics such as charging your phone. To turn on the display, press and hold the power button. Once the display lights up, release the power button. You'll be able to cycle through the main menu of information located on the bottom of the screen by pressing the I button from the trip to the odometer to the max speed, average speed, as well as riding time. The default setting of the display is pass zero when it's turned on. This is when pedal assist and throttle are inactive at pass zero. Pedal assist level can be increased by pressing the plus button and decreased by using the minus button. Increasing your pass level provides more power and speed. Use the plus and minus button to increase and decrease the pedal assist levels. Hold the minus button to put the motor in walk mode. This will allow for your motor to engage the bike on a nice walking rate. Hold down the light button to change the backlight to a darker setting for night riding. To enter the display settings, press the I button twice quickly. Enter the I button again to get into the display settings. The units can be changed by pressing the I button and then changing the imperial or metric using the plus and minus buttons. To save the setting, press the I button again. The brightness can be changed by pressing the I button on brightness and using that to change your display brightness. Select your desired brightness and move down to auto off. Auto off can select the amount of time which your display is awake prior to going to sleep of inactive use. Max pass is your total number of pass settings. This can be set to three, five, or nine divisions of the total motor power. Power view allows you to view the power of the motor in either watts or current. In SOC view, you can change the battery indication on the display from percent to voltage. We always recommend setting your display to show voltage as it's the most accurate way to determine the current charge of your battery. Trip reset allows you to reset your odometer trip on your main display. This is a one-time setting. Once you reset it, your odometer will go back to reading zero. Wheel is to set your wheel size. Wheel size should be set prior to riding the bike. So please make sure you check your bike's tire size and input them into the buffing display so that speed can be accurately calculated. Speed limit. Speed limit should be set prior to use. Make sure to set your desired speed limit in here. AL sensitivity is the backlight sensitivity due to low light conditions. You can set the A-light sensitivity to higher or low, lower values by simply doing this or turning it off. The password. Password is available in order to lock your buffing display. You can set the clock by pressing the I button on set clock. This will allow you to put in the current time setting so that your clock stays up to date. However, please note, every time you remove the battery, your clock will reset. That is all the display settings. Let's go back and take a look at the information settings. There's battery information, which is currently unavailable on our mid drive motors. Error code information will provide a list of previous error codes to help with diagnosing issues. Lastly, you can exit this menu by going to exit and pressing the I button. Mm -hmm.